the future for the opportunity to make a short statement on Singapore's progress in the implementation of the WHO FCTC. Singapore takes a comprehensive, multi-pronged approach to tobacco control, including policy and legislative measures, preventive education, and support for cessation efforts. In recent years, we have implemented additional policy measures. In 2018, we extended our long-standing ban on e-cigarettes to comprehensively cover possession, use, and purchase. In 2020, we implemented standardized packaging with enlarged graphic health warnings for all tobacco products. In 2021, we increased the minimum legal age for tobacco to 21 years. In 2023, we raised tobacco excise duties for all tobacco products by 15%. Last year, we also launched our national preventive health strategy, Healthier Singapore, or Healthier SG for short, where we encourage all Singaporeans to build a trusted and lifelong relationship with their primary care doctors. Under Healthier SG, primary care doctors will play an active and important role in smokers' quit journey by referring them to smoking cessation counselling services and following up closely on their progress. At COP9, we shared that with strong support from society, parliament, and the government, Singapore achieved a decade-long decline in smoking prevalence, and our locus lowest recorded smoking prevalence of 10.1% in 2020. Today, I'm happy to share that our smoking prevalence has dropped further to 9.2% in 2022. Singapore's experience shows that reducing smoking prevalence and the strong stance to ban alternative tobacco and nicotine products, such as e-cigarettes, are not mutually exclusive. In fact, the ban on e-cigarettes is critical to Singapore's tobacco control, control strategy to work towards achieving a nicotine-free future for Singapore. The ban forms a strong foundation for our efforts to counter global trends of increased e-cigarette use in youth, with attendant concerns on direct harms and gateway effects. Ladies and gentlemen, WHO FTTC obligations are the floor and not the ceiling. I would like to encourage all parties to continue strengthening tobacco control measures, even beyond the WHO FTTC, to promote healthier lives and to protect present and future generations from the harms of these products. Thank you.